Hi there, my name is Jake and this is the adjustable 180 degree connector from MakerPipe. This specific clamp is a part of a much larger building system of connectors that let you transform ordinary off-the-shelf electrical conduit into a building material with endless potential. Before we look closely at the adjustable 180 and learn how to put it together, let's talk about conduit and connectors and see why they're incredibly useful for DIY projects like these. You can buy EMT conduit in the electrical aisle of your local hardware or home improvement store. It's made of steel, but you can easily cut through it with this handheld tool. Maker pipe connectors exist so you can securely join pieces of EMT conduit together and create awesome projects that you can be proud of. We designed them to clamp around conduit and rely on friction. This means that you can build your project without needing to use electricity or specialty tools like a drill or a welder. In fact, you only need a single 5mm hex wrench to make a connection. The clamp design also makes them modular and extremely easy and quick to put together. They're just as easy and quick to take apart, which means you can easily modify or update your project on the fly while you're building it for the first time or as your needs change down the road. You might also have a lot of different hobbies and interests. If that's the case, nothing is stopping you from completely tearing down your builds to repurpose the connectors and conduit for something new. We're proud to manufacture the connectors here in our shop in upstate South Carolina with locally sourced 12 gauge American steel. We finished the connector pieces with a corrosion resistant and UV stable silver zinc coating. This coating combined with the galvanization that comes on EMT conduit means you can build outdoor projects like these and rest assured that they will be durable and long lasting. Each connector in the maker pipe system serves its own purpose and solves a unique problem within builds. The adjustable 180 connects three pieces of EMT conduit together. The middle part of the connector can be clamped anywhere along a piece of conduit, even flush with the end. The two outer pieces of conduit terminate inside of the connector. These two pieces of conduit can be angled up to 90 degrees in either direction for a full range of 180 degrees. You can fully tighten the two outer connections to hold specific angles or leave them slightly loose to create hinges. This connector is most commonly used for bracing in projects. It allows you to create two angled braces simultaneously. You can make them even or make them unique depending on the needs of your project. Let's look at a couple of community examples. Nancy's shade structure is a great example of creating even braces with the adjustable 180. Colin used them in a similar way to brace the sides of his e-bike trailer. In this build from Aaron, we can see that he used the adjustable 180s in a unique way. He continued his trellis and shade structure by adding a vertical support and an angled roof all at once. Now that we have a good idea of how to use the adjustable 180 in builds, let's put one together. To assemble the connector, you will need a few pieces from inside your maker pipe shipment. You'll need four of these pieces that make up what we call the end clamp. You will also need two of these identical pieces that make up the middle of the connector. We flat pack connector pieces together to save space inside of packages and cut down on shipping costs. This is important to keep in mind because some pieces are used by other connectors in the maker pipe system. For example, the end clamp is also used by the adjustable angle hinge connector as well as the adjustable flange connector. Before you start building, it's a good idea to lay out the connectors in your order to take inventory and better understand how the connectors will go together. In addition to the connector pieces, you will also need four M6 nuts and bolts. This hardware is included with your connector purchase and will be inside of a clear bag inside your box. To tighten the bolts, you'll need a single 5mm hex wrench. All available sizes of the adjustable 180 will function and assemble the same way, with one exception. The half-inch EMT conduit version will come with three of these black plastic adapter shims that need to be snapped onto the half-inch conduit before you can assemble the connector like normal. To assemble the adjustable 180, you will start by securely clamping a piece of conduit inside one of the end clamps. Both pieces that make up the end clamp are the same, so the orientation of the pieces doesn't matter. Add one of the nuts inside of the bottommost nut pocket on either side of the end clamp. You'll want to hold the nut in place with your finger and thread a bolt into it from the other side. Once you get the bolt threaded a few times by hand, you can switch to tightening the bolt with your 5mm hex wrench. While you're doing so, you'll want to be careful of two things. First, make sure that the piece of conduit that you're connecting stays fully inserted. Secondly, make sure that the top of the end clamp pieces stay on top of one another and do not slide apart. Repeat this process for the other piece of conduit and second end clamp. Next, we will secure the middle connection and end clamps together. It works best to do them one at a time. Clamp the middle pieces around the conduit in your build and then add one of the end clamps between the two pieces. Align the holes in all four pieces and thread a bolt into a nut that you're holding on the other side. Loosely tighten this connection and repeat the process for the other end clamp. Once the two outer pieces of conduit are in the desired positions, you can tighten the bolts with a 5mm hex wrench. You can leave the two bolts slightly loose to create hinges or fully tighten them to hold the desired angles. You'll notice that some of the connector pieces have pre-drilled holes for self-drilling screws. Number 8 by half inch screws will work best. These are optional and can be added now for extra security. Because this connector is designed to function as a hinge, you might experience unwanted rotation even when it's fully tightened. 
Because of this, it's not recommended to use this connector to make standalone arms that extend out and support weight. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out the rest of the Maker Pipe building system. The adjustable angle hinge connector is another great solution for adding angled braces to projects.